Hello there, welcome to Dateline Lagos. I'm Loretta Chiogo. First, a look at the highlights. Air pollution in Gulf Olusoso area of Ojota and its environs caused by dump site fire. Aggrieved Lagos residents get relief on land use charge as state government reduces rates and religious organization partners with the Lagos state government to enhance the lives of residents in Bagada by delivering multiple transport projects. Now let's begin with environmental issues. No one could have imagined that the Olusosun dump site would someday go down in flames, a disturbing site that destroyed several properties. The smoke is still causing panic among residents over possible health hazards. It's been a week since the Olushusun dump site in Ojota caught fire. For what many are judged to be the biggest inferno of many that has occurred almost every year for as long as the site existed. Clearly, the fire consumed everything on its path, with over 10 vehicles, including buses and evacuation trucks, as well as goods stored in warehouses within the premises. More than half of the 76 hectares of dump site is still covered in smoke one week after the incident. Although the fire has been contained to a large extent, some parts are still smoldering. On one end, firemen are seen at work attacking even the tiniest fireballs in sight. Surprisingly, in the thick of the smoke, some still find it comfortable rummaging the waste, especially in areas where the fire did not get to. It is not an unusual occurrence for those who work here, although none of them imagine its size. They say it's not man-made. The end year, fire is still the bone something inside here. But it no be like it this year. This year is too much. The cause of the fire was unknown until Governor Kewumi Ambode visited the site two days after to see the extent of damage done and to allay the fears of scavengers and other workers. You see, what happened here is not as if anybody put fire there. It is the refuse that are dumped there, as well as the gas coming from under the ground, and the hot sun, which was around 36 to 38 degrees, that caused the fire. We thank God nothing bad happened to those living there and around the neighborhood. What we have decided now is that there will be no dumping of refuse here any longer. The cause of the fire is further clarified by an environmentalist, Mr. Lugbenga Dibola, who also blames it on mismanagement of the dump site. A dump site or a landfill site that you're supposed to dump waste is actually supposed to have a liner that will prevent the percolation of the leachate. That will also, you have pipings that will collect even the leachate itself and also the biogas. One of it is actually methane and the carbon dioxide. All these Greenhouse gases, or as you could call it, the biogas, could actually be channeled to generate electricity. Mm. But unfortunately, at a dump site like Ojota or Olushosun, the waste had just been dumped indiscriminately and it was not being well managed. Unfortunately, when that dump site was actually created, it was at the outskirts of the, of, of the city. Now, the city actually came to meet the dump site there. And I tell you, that is not even a, a, a problem if you ask me. But if the dump site is actually managed in the best practice that is internationally acceptable, people can live around there. Mr. Debola also prefers long-term solution to avoid future occurrence. You can't isolate Olushos from dump site from the myriad of problems that Lagos is facing, you know, as far as waste management is concerned. And I would say that the Lagos State Government, Ministry or whoever, CLI, which is the Cleaner Lagos Initiative, should try, first of all, maybe they need to do some re re remediation. But that is the remediation of the site. But it goes beyond that. What happens to the collection? If waste are collected, where are they going to dump it? Now I want to tell you something. 
You can collect waste from the metro metropolis of Lagos and then begin to travel to Ekpe or travel to Ikurudu to go and dump it. It's, go it's going to have a ripple effect, especially maybe from for whatever people are going to pay and all that and all that. Shortly after the governor's visit, the Commissioner for Information and Strategy announces the closure of the dump site. A second visit by Governor Ambode led to the decision to shut the site to protect the people in the environment and ensure their health and safety. Consequently, waste collection operators are directed to use the landfill sites at Ewe Lekwe in Ikorodu and the second one in Ekpe. The government has also decided to fence the site. Further measures to contain the situation include the decommissioning of the site to facilitate alternative use for parks and gardens and other projects. Until now, visibility is still a challenge for motorists who ply the Ojota and the Ikosiketu access to communities mostly affected by the smoke coming from the dump. The smoke also makes it uneasy for passers-by and residents to breathe as they move around with their nose trees covered. My sister stays very close. I need to call her yesterday to ask how far with the whole thing. She said it's getting to them anyway, but they're, they're not too much. Lagos State is trying and we, I hope they will do something quickly, as quickly as possible, because we know the effect of this thing. and. We, I don't think we know how to manage crisis in this country. Public and private schools within the surrounding communities have been affected since the fire outbreak. However, academic activities have picked up at least to enable authorities complete the terminal exams. Pupils are still released to go home before closing hours while the smoke persists. We have to close the children earlier than we should and Somehow, it's really disturbing, if not that we have some classes that have AC, so we have to put them there, but it's not enough to keep them there. This smoke is very disturbing. It affects us. I cannot live here, for instance. And all of us, we have to be running away from our homes. We have parents that have had to move out of their residence because of this smoke. Traders earlier forced to shut down their businesses are gradually returning. But most of them, like this commercial motorcyclist, choose to risk the pollution just to make ends meet. And when I be at home, who will give me food to eat when I be at home? That's what makes me to come and come and look for my daily bread now. The Lagos State Fire Service is still on ground to check any further outbreak. The Olusosun dump, which has been in existence for decades, now ceases to be. While the closure may be commendable, the continuous air pollution is still a major concern to the health of residents. The question now is, how long will this last? <laughs>